Let the king of my heart be the mountain where I run, the fountain I drink from. Oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the shadow where I hide, the ransom for my life. Oh, he is my song.
love you as the day that follows night Love you as the morning sun so bright Love you as the water fills the sea A love for you will flow eternally Love you as a father loves a son Love you like a new love just begun I love you as a mother loves a child I love you now until the end of time And will you take my love And hold it in your arms and never break my love Receive it like a child and not forsake my love Believing for a new life every day And will you have my heart And hold it all so close And never ever part Accept the gift I offer With an open heart Together we will walk along the way Father, my request is that those of us who are struggling to come to grips with this time in our head, I just ask for favor to come upon us, that we may just relax into a place of rest 
and allow our heart just to reach out to you, just like we did on the day that we became Christians. Just on the day when salvation came into our hearts, into our lives, we responded to you in heart. We didn't think our way into the gospel. We didn't think our way into salvation. We felt our way into an experience because you touched our heart. You created a longing in our heart. And we found our heart responding to you. So right now I pray that you would just return us to that heart place so that we may experience you. And yes, so that we may feel your presence. Because your presence is tangible. It's real. So I ask you to come and touch every one of us. And Holy Spirit, you are so welcome. Come and do what you do best. Come and touch our hearts. Move amongst us. Come and breathe on us. And let the words that you speak this evening, could you speak them directly into our heart and cause us to have an experience of your grace and your goodness that would overwhelm us again. That we may know you. That we may know you in spirit and in truth. And we ask that in Jesus' name. sense is going to happen this evening. We are about to step into the place of God's indulgence. When we talk about God's indulgence, we talk about nothing else than the Father choosing to please Himself. Through Scripture you see the times when God pleased Himself and did certain things. Like, for example, it pleased Him to bruise Jesus on our behalf. The Bible is full of instances of God acting out and working out His own passions, His own desires. He indulges Himself. And this evening I really sense in my heart that the Lord is here to please Himself. And in some mysterious way we will be pleased We will meet His desire this evening and His desire will touch us, it will change us, it will transform us. God's indulgence is where we learn to enjoy the pleasure of His favor. That He would become intimately involved in placing particular favor on our lives. That He intends to satisfy a desire in his heart to bestow blessing that is significantly above and beyond our ability to even conceive of it. So I'm expecting some remarkable things to happen during this time in your heart. So my request, beloved, is open up your heart to the Lord and rest in him and relax in Him. But don't let anything around you put you off this moment of intimacy. Because I believe that the Lord wants to speak to you and that He intends to declare and demonstrate His desire to enjoy blessing you for all He is worth. That heaven would come to earth through the absolute intentionality of God. And that he would satisfy himself and be blessed by what he does for us. Okay. So, here we go. It's 
says the Lord, it is my intention to personalize my grace in such a way that you are empowered in specific areas of your life so that rapid growth becomes the norm for you in this season of acceleration. And I give you favor so that you may know that you have special consideration for my intentional desire to take place even in the ordinary things of your life. I'm indulging myself so that you will become highly confident towards me. So beloved, I say to you, look to me. Look to me. Look to me. I have given you permission to dream and to make requests for specific issues that you have, problems, difficulties, situations and circumstances. Look to me. Favor is now being actively promoted by the Holy Spirit in your life. And know this, beloved, it will be equally contested by the enemy. Favor is permission to ask, to seek, to knock in the sure and certain knowledge that I will say yes to you. For everything in Christ Jesus is yes and amen in my heart. So I'm teaching you to make requests in such a way that you will hear the yes that's in my heart to yours. Your life, therefore, is about getting to yes. I will take your favor into a high and a deep place of confidence in my goodness so that a greater faith anointing begins to grow in you. And in this place of my indulgence, I will teach you how to stand in the place of my desire. I want you to feel me, beloved. I want you to feel my intentionality coming into your life in a fresh way. That you may be made fresh. That you will be refreshed. That you will remain fresh. I you made the sun and placed it in the heaven I you made the mighty winds to blow and the oceans to roar I you made the universe unfold it like a canvas
covered it with stars and signed it with my name. Oh, I delight in you. I sing over you with dancing. Oh, I delight in you. I will dance over you with a song. Oh, I delight in you. Highest of all my creation, I will quiet you with my love. I will delight in you.
I will delight in you. You, my one and only, you came and overwhelmed me, love so pure and holy, love, with me.
pleasure How good is that? Pearl of great price You paid the greatest price to get I am your prize, it blows my mind The one that you lost And you'd do anything to find I am the sheep who went astray And you left everything to find me I'm the son who lost his way You waited patiently when you saw me You ran and grabbed me and bring me home Oh. 
of you little children. He is love. He is love. Though the music changes. Songs we sing, we still lift our praise to our loving God and King. Though the music changes and the songs we sing, we still lift our praise to our loving God and King.
How great is the love the Father has lavished upon us that we should be called children of God and that is what we are. hearts to heal He came to set the captives free The offer of salvation To find the lost And then to bring us home We are your sons We are your daughters We are your children Forever free No longer slaves No longer offers of your spirit, God's family. We are your sons, we are your daughters, we are your children, forever free. No longer slaves, no longer orphans, born of your spirit, God's family. Born of your spirit, God's family. Here is love, vast as the ocean, loving kindness as the flood when the 